Let us continue with our lesson and on the previous lesson we have already covered about the Kotlin abstract classes and today we will be learning about the Kotlin interface. So let's get started and let's jump into our end studio project over here. And uh, I have already created one class which is a class of a television. So let's say we have a television object over here. And if you think of a television a real object, then we can see have a sum of the functionality or its behavior and some of its states. So let's say a TV has its uh, brand, which may be of its uh, state or the properties, and it may have a behavior of uh, which we can on and off, and also a change a channel. So it may have other functionality. So to, in order to operate this TV, we will need something like a remote control. So we will need to have a remote control which can control the TVs like uh, how to on, off, and switch the channel. So we may have to implement a controller. So for that, I will create a new Kotlin over here. Here, I will change it to interface. And uh, I will name it as a remote and just click on ok so it will create a interface not a class the class is a different and interface is a different so don't mix get don't get mixed about the class and the interface is the same so interface is interface and class is a class so class we have to make use of a class uh, as a keyword as a class over here and when we create an interface we have to make use of an interface keyword so we have this interface which is of remote and let's create some of the function over here like a function of off and which has a functionality of a off and function of which is on and we should on our television and also let's have a function of a volume up and let's say we have another function of a volume which should be down and if you notice over here we have a four function total over here which is a behavior which we can define as a remote behavior off on and volume up and volume down the two function you notice we have a function without the body that is a abstract function and if we have a function with a method body that is just a normal function and if you don't if you are confused over here if you try to make it as a abstract over here and it will show you that this is a redundant modifier so which means that by default the function is of abstract so whenever we create a interface over here and whenever we in the interface whenever we create a function that function is by default an abstract likewise in if we are go back to the function uh, sorry on the person abstract class over here whenever we create a abstract function we have to manually mention it as a using an abstract keyword so whenever we create a function, by default, it was just a normal function. And if you wanted to create an abstract function, we have to make use of an abstract keyword. Whereas in the interface over here, by default, it is abstract. And which means that whenever we create a function in interface, it's by default as an abstract. Just take note. And whenever we create a function, a normal function with a body over here, so let's say I can I can just say as a log that d and let's say debug and I will just call it as of our interface remote. Just copy and paste the tag over here and let me just copy and what I will do is this is of a tag is of let's say a volume up. So let's just give up remote volume up and i'll just copy this one and just have it paste over here 
and remote volume down so just copy and paste it over here so we have a two uh, function over here which has a method body and if you notice this function by default each of a open so when you give as a open keyword over here it's a redundant modifier so which means that the function if you have a method body in our interface that means that the function is a open by default so whenever we have an open function that means that open function can be overwritten in a subclass so in a person if you notice that if you want to make if you want to override this function we have to make use of a open keyword so if you make use of open keyword then we we then we can override this function but whereas in our interface we have by default a open you can say this is a open by default right and here we can say as a abstract by default so this function is abstract by default and abstract means that we cannot have a method body and when we have a method body it's open by default and if you go to the television now we can implement this just implement our remote interface and now when we have implemented or when we inherit from a remote whatever is abstract over here so we have a two function that's of each of abstract function then we have to override that function that is compulsory right so we have to implement uh just click on this one and we have two function that need to be overridden so why do we have to override that function is because it's of an abstract so whenever we have an abstract function or an abstract property then that must be overwritten in a subclass the subclass is let me close all of this so subclass is our television and television is implementing a remote so the remote has a two function of abstract so we have to make use or we have to override that one so just, just remove this one and uh, what we can do is we can just go over here and just copy this block and just paste it over here and we'll paste it over here and i can just say that the remote instead of remote i can just say this is a television just copy and television on and television off and if you want to override this method which is of a volume of we can override that one too because it's an open function so we can override the volume up and also override the volume down so if you make it as if you make if by default this is of open that's why we can override it in our subclass which is of television so now we can just just copy this one too and just copy over here and just paste it below this one and below this one and so that we don't have a tag so let's create a tag why not we create a tag over here so i will just say as a private well tag is equals to let's say of our remote so we'll make use of a remote so that's it and now so not a student class so this should be come from here not the student i just wrongly copied sorry for that one so i just need to copy this one and just paste it over here and just paste it that over here and uh, if you notice this is a remote so i can just say that instead of remote we can say as a television volume up and down and if you notice here super dot volume up and super dot volume down this is calling to a super method in which is our remote so if you don't want to call a super method we can just uh, remove this one or comment it out so if you want to call the super method then you can just make use of a super dot 
the method name that you want to call from here. The super is your remote class, which is of interface over here. And if you call this method, volume up. If you want to call that method, we can write super dot volume up. And so we don't want to call it, and that's we have implemented. And the next thing over here in the interface is that a property. So let's say we have a property of a val or a val, and I can say of a brand, which is of a string. And if I say that this is a brand of, let's say, a default. And if you notice, we have an error that it says that whenever we have a property over here by default this is an abstract so if you say abstract sorry abstract it will say that by default this is an abstract and whenever we have a abstract properties then this this cannot have a we cannot initialize a value over here or we cannot add a value and if you want to have a default value over here, if you want to assign a default value, we can make use of an accessor method, which is we can make use of a get. So get is an accessor method and we can set a default value for it. So it may be, I think it's because of a val keyword we have to make use here. So that should be fine. And so if you want to have, if you want to have a default implementation for your property, then we should make use of we should have a get property so it should have a get method which is an accessor method so we are using this get method we will access a default value over here or if you don't have this one and if you don't want to have a default implementation then by default this is an abstract and if we have an abstract then we have to implement over here so we can just go over here and we can say override Override the band string and what we can say is instead of this one we can just say that is equals to of a some brand as a S A M S U N G Samsung and that's it so we have properly implemented our remote interface in our class television and now if we go to our activity over here now we can create our sub we can clear create a val and i can say as a tv is equals to television and uh, we have a television now we have uh, access to all of the properties and object of a tv dot we can say of a brand and uh, tv dot we can just volume up a uh, volume down and uh, tv dot volume up and let's on it tv dot we can say on and tv dot off so we have all of the method and if you run this for now let's run it and uh, let us go to lock can and let us filter it out by our television okay remote so i think we have a tag sorry we have a tag of our remote so let's filter it out by a remote over here and uh, yeah we have a television on we have television two time on why is that one so if you go over here we have television on and should be off right so television let's go to the television over here yeah we have two times so television it should be off or oh, ff off and volume down is this one so volume down and volume i have made a mistake over here so let's uh, re just clear this one and let's rerun it and uh, we should get a correct now so it's uh, on and off volume up and down and we haven't locked the brand so if we go to activity and if you try to log that one, just copy this one and just log it the TV that brand. So what I will do is just paste it inside this one. And I can just say as a VR, VR and brand over here. 
and just rerun this one and we should get yeah, on and off and volume up and down and the tag is of a different okay so i think we need to change the tag as of the remote so just copy and just paste it in the tag over here and let's rerun this application one more time and i think we should get a correct by now so we have a brand samsung on and off volume up down and up and if you like to call a super method you can just call the super method too and just run it one more time clear it and let's see we have a samsung off on off volume remote volume down the television volume down remote volume up and television volume up so that's all for this lesson hope you enjoyed this one and if you are a bit confused i would like you guys to go and practice it more and uh, let's meet up in the next lecture till then have a great day